what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another 20 minute hit it, except we are mixing things up and we're doing this workout entirely glute focused. This is something you've been requesting for a while now, the sun I've been working on. I'm so excited for it. So it's gonna be the same format as our usual 20 minute hit it, 10 exercises, two rounds, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for a total of 20 minutes. If you make it through both rounds, great. If you make it through one round, part of a round, something is always better than nothing. I'm so excited for today's workout. But before we get into it, I wanna remind you, we have a new challenge starting June 1st. The Made to Move It Challenge is all about making movement a habit that lasts. It is 100% free to join. It's going to include weekly workout calendars, daily workouts, recipe and nutrition tips, accountability from me and you. Lots of love, lots of fun together. All right, so if you wanna join me for that challenge, I'll put all the info in the description box down below. Otherwise, if you're excited for today's video, shoot me a thumbs up and let's get into it. Getting into position for our first exercise, we have got the power squat. And the way this is gonna work is you're gonna take your feet, put them just beyond shoulder width apart. What we're gonna do is start with our hands down by our sides, we're gonna drop, and as we lower, those hands are coming up until they're by our ears. Lower as far as you can, then snap up. All right, as we snap up, we're thrusting our hips forward, we're snapping our hands down, back to the starting position. Before we repeat, we are going in right now. Our next exercise is going to be the kneeling thrust. So as you can imagine, we'll be down on the ground in a kneeling position. So getting on your knees, making sure tops of your feet are flat on the ground. I want you to start with your hands in front this time. What we're going to do from here, I want you to feel that little stretch, a little tension in your glutes, thrust forward. All right, as we do, again, squeezing the hips forward, squeezing the glutes, just like that for 30 seconds. Our next exercise is going to be a gliding kickback. For this, we're gonna get back down on the ground into a kneeling position. So I want you to do hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna start by using the left leg. So we're gonna lift that left knee, glide forward, explode back. I don't want you exploding up. I want that heel going to the back wall and we're off. So same thing, down our hands and knees. We are going to be doing a gliding kick back to our right side. What I really want you to focus on this time is not just kicking straight back, okay? Making sure that belly button is tight. It's tight to your spine, okay? So we're kicking up, we're arching our back, we're taking our glutes of the equation, we're kicking back, keep that belly button tight. Our next exercise 
is going to be the rotating squat. This is one of my favorites. All right, so what I want you to do is feet just beyond shoulder width apart. Hands, lace them behind your head or rest on the outside of your head. You're gonna squat, we're gonna come all the way up and when we're right around here, flip that hip over. As you flip it over, I want you squeezing through that back butt cheek. Down, over, let's go. swing. Okay, so now that you have a kettlebell, you have a weight, you're holding it between your legs. Feet just beyond shoulder width apart. Sit those hips back. Let that weight hang here. It's an invisible weight. Now I want you to slam your hips forward. Bring that weight. Bring whatever you're holding between your hands up to the sky. Sit the hips back. Thrust them up. All right. I want power here. exercise is the pitcher pulse. This is a new one. It's inspired by the pitching move in baseball. We're going to start by working our left leg, our left glute. So here, facing sideways, feet shoulder width apart. Lean, step, squeeze through that left glute to move your body forward. Transfer the momentum from here to here. Let's go. baseball, I'm not really a big sports person, watch the pitchers. I know they're wearing loose pants. They all got some cheeks on them, all right, because they're pitching. Same thing on this side. I'm going to switch over working that right glute sideways. Wind it up. Rotate it over, okay? As we step, we're transferring momentum and we're doing it through this glute, okay? Hands can just be up here. It's all about the lower body. Let's go. marching kickback, all right? So, I want you to get down, hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna do a kickback like this, so nice bend. Bring your heel to the ceiling, but fast as possible. We're not stomping our knees down, we're raising them up. The ground is lava, but just under your knees. We're going as quick as we can, here we go. Yet. Let's flip it on over. We have got 
a tabletop, which looks simple now, but if you're doing that full range of motion, you're gonna feel it. So, hands here, feet here, kind of like a crab position. What I want you to do is thrust those hips up. Okay, all the way up until you make a flat tabletop. We don't eat off slanted tables. All the way down, tap your bum, repeat. Do it powerfully, do it fast, do it with control. Let's go. Obviously, have to fix this nest we've got going on up here, but now it's a great time to grab some water, grab a tissue, press pause, feel a little break before we go into round two, because I'll be back after this for some more of this. like that we are back for round two so as a reminder we'll be starting with the power squat all right so we're starting feet just beyond shoulder width apart hands by our sides as we lower down we are keeping our eyes and our chest up hands are raising till they're at our ears when they get there snap it on up by thrusting those hips forward slamming those arms down I want your front side to be tight I want your glutes to be tight let's go Snap the arms down, keep the core tight, thrust the hips forward, keep the glutes tight. All right? It's all about working with your body. We are off in three, two, and one. under our hips. We're going to be using this leg first. The left leg, we're going to glide it forward, keeping that core tight. Kick it back. I'm talking back to the wall, not up to the ceiling. We're up in three, two, and one.
where all these exercises look so easy. And when you start doing them, you're like, you get a little cocky and stuff. So many of this is so heckin' tough. But next up, we've got the rotating squat. So, feet should be on shoulder width apart. Hands resting on the backs of your heads. Back of your head, you're not two heads. We're down, when we get to here, rotate it over, squeeze that back glute. Here, we get to here, rotate it over, squeeze that back glute. Let's go. We'll get a wall swing. I wish it was a nap, okay? But we're gonna be starting here. Feet shoulder width apart. I want you to take your hands. Imagine you're holding a weight, something invisible down here, okay? Don't think that. Get your head out of the gutter. We are thrusting up, okay? So sit the hips back, shoot those hands up. Let them fall, shoot those hands up. Let's go. fluid going on right now next up we got that pitcher pulse I know it's a little bit weird okay but you're getting better every time you practice facing sideways or a wind up by lifting the right leg and you're shift that momentum forward okay so we're going from sideways to forward doing it by flipping those hips squeezing that glute we got this because your glutes stabilize and support your hips. They support rotation, okay? So facing sideways, we're gonna wind up with the left leg, flip it over with the hips. We lead with the hips, we drive that with the right glute. Let's go. Let's go.
we go. One more exercise, guys. If I can make it through this, you can make it through this. We're gonna flip on over and get into our crab position. We are not gonna slide and collapse on the ground, even though we want to. What we're gonna do, touch the, backs of your, the back of your bum down. As soon as it touches the ground, thrust up, okay? Full range of motion all the way down. Thrust up. Keep it as quick as you can. You've got to slow down. It's okay. It's the last round, but do your best. Let's go. focus today we did a bit more of a glute focus so if you enjoyed it definitely let me know in the comment section down below make sure to shoot me a thumbs up and if there's something you'd like to see in a future hit workout let me know all right otherwise thank you for working out with me i love working out with you guys i love sweating with you i love hanging out with you and remember if you would like to participate in the made to move it challenge it is a 100 percent free challenge it's starting on june 1st it's running for four weeks so there's going to be daily workouts weekly workout calendars Cooking tips, recipe tips, eating tips, all that jazz. It's gonna be super fun. We can do it together, hold each other accountable. It's all about making movement a habit. If you would like to sign up for that, I'll put a link in the description box down below. I'm doing my best to talk. I'm all out of words. I'm gonna cut off there. Thanks for working out with me. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.